three different criminal charges leading to a ruined career. We're going to investigate exactly what happened to Mason Greenwood from his arrest to his doomed future. Mason Greenwood was not only Manchester United's brightest and most talented prodigy, he was going to be England's next star winger. At the age of just 17 years old, he made his senior team debut and scored his first goal months later. Greenwood started 2022 with 22 goals in 83 games, but on the morning of January 30th, 2022, we all woke up to the shocking news that Greenwood had been suspended by Manchester United after being arrested that day. A statement by Greater Manchester Police read, Greater Manchester Police was made aware earlier today, Sunday 30th January, of online social media images and videos posted by a woman reporting incidents of physical violence. An investigation was launched and following inquiries, we can confirm a man in his 20s has since been arrested on suspicion of R and A. He remains in custody for questioning. Inquiries are ongoing. That man, of course, was Greenwood. Social media flooded with the evidence which was posted on Instagram by Greenwood's girlfriend. However, the evidence was quickly taken down. The father of Harriet Robson, Mason Greenwood's partner's father, gave this statement. The first thing we knew about this was at 6am this morning. It is dreadful. I'm just coming to terms with it all. As a father, you don't want to know things like that happening to your daughter. The police have been round and she has made a statement to them. She has told us her phone has been hacked. We told her to take it down, which she has done, but it's out there now, so it is too late. She is devastated because she didn't want it released. We have known him since the under-21s. He has been part of our family for two or three years. Their relationship has not been good for the last few months. She is completely devastated by it all. They were very much in love and have been together for a while. The police are dealing with it now. The following day, Mason's tarnished reputation led to him being suspended by his sponsor Nike and was removed from FIFA 22. Greenwood found himself in a downward spiral as things got increasingly worse. Greater Manchester Police came out with an update on Greenwood's arrest. Sickeningly, following inquiries so far, he has since been further arrested on suspicion of SA and threats to kill. Police were spotted at Greenwood's house and the following day he is released on bail pending further investigation. An internal investigation from Nike led to them completely dropping Mason and Manchester United offered free replica shirts to those who had Greenwood's name on the back. Radio silence is then around for seven months. A fresh season comes around and Greenwood is nowhere to be seen. In fact, no one has even seen him leave his house. The fact that no message has come from Greenwood, Manchester United or the victim for a long period of time leaves us to believe Greenwood will plead guilty to his crimes. This speculation escalates as Greenwood is arrested yet again, this time for an alleged breach of his bail conditions. Later that day, the Crown Prosecution Service announced it is charging the 21-year-old with attempted R, engaging in controlling and coercing behavior and a occasioning actual bodily h a couple of days later greenwood is summoned to manchester magistrates court he stands in the dock accused of his crimes the player speaks only to confirm his name date of birth and address he is granted bail and released from custody a sketch of mason greenwood shows he is in a bad state physically and emotionally as november 2022 rolls around greenwood is summoned to court again and is photographed with a black hoodie covering his head. A trial date is set for November 2023 with the case expected to last 10 days. Pleas to the charges are not entered. His parents were in court for the hearing which lasted under 10 minutes. Confusion is in the air in February 2023 as Greenwood had been registered for the Manchester United squad, meaning they plan to feature him as a player. Surely the Red Devils would only do this if they had information unknown to the public and that confusion was settled shortly after as all charges against Mason Greenwood were dropped.
Mason Greenwood finally makes a public comment on the case, saying in a statement, I am relieved that this matter is now over, and I would like to thank my family, loved ones, and friends for their support. The charges were dropped because the evidence was withdrawn, so he's not legally guilty or legally not guilty, but I think we can all use common sense using the pictures and voice notes and figure out for ourselves that he's a disgusting person and should not be allowed in public again. Nike was the first to set the stage for a Mason Greenwood return after Greenwood's previously inactive Instagram account was updated to provide a link to the Nike football page. After this, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag makes his first statement about Greenwood's future, telling the press any decision is out of his control. An internal investigation by the Manchester United board continues until 12th of August 2023, where the higher-ups at the club come to a final decision. However, they wish to first consult the Manchester United's women's team, some of which were currently playing at the Women's World Cup in Australia. While this investigation takes place, Mason Greenwood's partner gives birth to Greenwood's child and the couple plan to marry each other. It is confusing that Mason Greenwood would get back together with his partner if she had made up stories of being abused. Anyway, after that shocking news, Manchester United released an appalling statement about Greenwood. Following the dropping of all charges against Mason Greenwood in February 2023, Manchester United has conducted a thorough investigation into the allegations made against him. This is drawn on extensive evidence and context not in the public domain, and we have heard from numerous people with direct involvement or knowledge of the case. Throughout this process, the welfare and perspective of the alleged victim has been central to the club's inquiries and we respect her right to lifelong anonymity. We also have the responsibilities to Mason as an employee, as a young person who has been with the club since the age of seven and as a new father with a partner. The fact-finding phase of our investigation is now complete and we are in the final stages of making a decision on Mason's future. Contrary to media speculation, that decision has not not yet be made and is currently the subject of intensive internal deliberation. Responsibility ultimately rests with the chief executive officer. Once made, the decision will be communicated and explained to the club's internal and external stakeholders. This has been a difficult case for everyone associated with Manchester United and we understand the strong opinions it has provoked based on the partial evidence in the public domain. We ask for patience as we work through the final stages of this carefully considered process. To summarise, Manchester United are about to bring Mason Greenwood back to the squad. What we all want to know is, what is the other evidence not in the public domain that United have? That's the interesting line. We will never know unfortunately and have to take United's word for it. Of course, we know what we heard was rotten, but it makes you wonder whether there is more to it. The statement was deemed pathetic. How on earth have Manchester United, the biggest football club in England, maybe even the world, still not made a decision after all those months. In my opinion, Man United should have asked Mason whether it was him in the video. If he says yes, they get rid of him. If he says no, they continue their investigation and communicate that reason to the fans. Obviously, outrage swiftly poured onto social media, with many fans even threatening to boycott the club completely. Staff of the club told their managers that they would leave and strike should Greenwood return. Members of the women's team even threatened to end their contracts. I also think bringing Greenwood back would be an awful example to kids in the United Academy that as long as you're good enough, you can do whatever you want and still be accepted and pedestaled as a role model to people all over the world. The fact that what he has done is now being accepted by one of the biggest clubs in the world and being allowed to play is disgusting. And the fact they have basically said that it is okay will probably lead to people thinking this is the right thing. It is not sportsmanship or being a good person, 
it's about business. We heard the audio, we saw the transcripts, we saw the bruises on her and the blood all over her. It is a massive betrayal to not only female United fans and female football fans, but also the United women's team. I think it's safe to say whoever obliterates his ACL will first will never have to pay for a drink again. This is your chance, Milner. In my own opinion, if this was an average youth player for United, they would have been released immediately. However, because Mason was promising and is valuable, they wanted to keep hold of him. The outrage reached a point where Manchester United realised it would do them more harm than good to keep Greenwood at the club. So they released a new statement confirming Greenwood would be allowed to leave and continue his footballing career elsewhere. Something which was a mutual agreement between the player and the club. Mason Greenwood finally addressed the entire situation. I want to start by saying I understand that people will judge me because of what they have seen and heard on social media and I know people will think the worst. I was brought up to know that violence or abuse in any relationship is wrong. I did not do the things I was accused of and in February I was cleared of all charges. However, I fully accept I made mistakes in my relationship and I take my share of responsibility for the situation that led to the social media post. I am learning to understand my responsibilities to set a good example as a professional footballer and I'm focused on the big responsibility of being a father as well as a good partner. Today's decision has been part of a collaborative process between Manchester United, my family and me. The best decision for us all is for me to continue my football career away from Old Trafford where my presence will not be a distraction for the club. I thank the club for their support since I joined age seven. There will always be a part of me which is united. I am enormously grateful to my family and all my loved ones for their support and it is now for me to repay the trust those around me have shown. I intend to be a better footballer but most importantly a good father, a better person and to use my talents in a positive way on and off the pitch. On deadline day of summer 2023, Manchester United loaned out Mason Greenwood to Getaf CF for one season with a press reading The move enables Greenwood to begin to rebuild his career away from Manchester United. The club will continue to offer its support to Mason and his family during this period of transition. The England national football team have implicitly stated Greenwood will never represent the country again. As Greenwood only made one friendly cap for the Free Lions, the Jamaican national team may offer Greenwood a chance to represent them, should Greenwood play at a decent standard. For now, Greenwood will never never represent Manchester United again and more importantly probably never play in England ever again. Greenwood is going to face a huge public backlash at whatever club he joins and as we've seen so will that club. The constant negative songs and chants throughout the games he plays in will be a huge obstacle for his team to overcome game after game. This will be interesting to watch unfold but with that being said he's lucky to not be in prison let alone playing football. If he wasn't who he is he would be currently locked up.